members stand and wave to the... The report presented findings gathered and analyzed in the nine districts of Karamoja sub-region in the period from March and including projections for July this year. Out of the 1.2 million people analyzed, about 518,000 of them are estimated to be experiencing high levels of acute food insecurity. 91,600 children under the age of five will need treatment due to acute malnutrition throughout 2022. And 9,500 pregnant and lactating women need treatment due to acute malnutrition. Some of the leaders from the region were present at the dissemination. In 2021, it was 30 people who were food insecure, but now it is 42. Almost half of the population is food insecure, they cannot afford food. This is, this is not acceptable. And it is not just about food to fill the stomach, even the quality of the food, just like was mentioned here. We don't even have the food to fill the stomach, leave alone to nourish our body. There are lots of places in Karamoja that you cannot access even to deliver services. That is why sometimes we have a fear that we are going to have challenges even with PDM. The report also highlighted the key drivers of acute food insecurity as follows. Climate shocks and hazards, which are responsible for poor rainfall and water lodging, and flash floods. Conflict and insecurity resulting in loss of property, especially cattle theft and disruption of food production and markets. High food prices, making the much required food unaffordable, and diseases and pests which disrupt the food cycle. Additionally, acute malnutrition is caused by poor food consumption, which especially affects children who are below five years, diseases like malaria and diarrhea, and acute food insecurity. Grace Tusime, the Undersecretary for Risk and Disaster Management at the Office of the Prime Minister, represented Minister Hilario Neck. She said, Government will give priority to the region to reverse the statistics. It should be noted that some interventions have so far been uh, dispatched to the region, such as relief food from not only government but also development partners has been sent to Karamoja, although the demand has outweighed the supply. Since March 2020, for example, since 20, March 2022, the government of Uganda has committed and allocated about 1,070,000 kilograms of maize flour and 535,000 kilograms of beans as a relief aid to Karamoja. The senior nutritionist at the Ministry of Health, Tim Mateva, says they will focus on raising awareness on feeding and nutrition. Food is food, yes, but why is it nutritionalized, if I am to use such a word? So we are saying nutrition sensitive agriculture to the affected areas. Do they have, can the children access variety and then probably the amounts that will lead into uh, frequency improves. The projections for the region regarding acute food insecurity and malnutrition by February 2023 indicate that Nakapiripirit, Amudat, Abim and Karenga districts will likely improve and fall back to the category of stress from crisis. Walter Mwesije, NTV.